Alright then gang, so we have come a long way and there's just one more feature I want to add to this website and that is a live search on the homepage so that we can start typing the name of a book and as we do that we get live search results shown on the page. And we've actually already learned all the tools that we need to implement this feature, we just need to put them together. So let's try this out. All right then, so I've got the book list component open right here and I want to create this search bar just above the list and below the page header. So let's do a little comment to say search and then underneath that we need an input field. So a user can type something into it. Now I'm just gonna format this a little better so we can have multiple different attributes on this and it doesn't go off the screen, <clears throat> excuse me. And the first thing we need to do is hook this up to a model. So we know how to do that, we can say wire model and we're gonna set that equal to something. And we'll call this term. I will also go to the book list model class over here, or component class rather, and I'm going to create a new public property called term to sync this up with. And to begin with, it's just an empty string. So as a user types into this, we want to update pretty much live this thing right here. So in order to get that live feature, we need to tack on the event modifier live. But remember when we do this, after every keystroke, we're making a request to the server and that's not great for most applications. So I'm gonna use the debounce modifier as well to say that only make a request if we leave the field for 300 milliseconds without typing. Then you can update the term on the component. All right, so now we have a model and we've kind of perform this two-way data binding between the input and the model. I also want a placeholder for this. So I'm going to set that equal to search for books. Oops, not books, books, dot, dot, dot. And then I'll also give this a class so it can be styled better. And that is going to be search. All right, so that is the little bit of template done. Okay, so now when we type into the search bar, it's going to keep this term property in sync in pretty much real time. And we already know that when a property value gets updated in the component, the render function reruns. And that means every time the search term updates, Livewire reruns this render function. Now at the moment, well, it's not really going to do much because we're always returning the same view with all of the books. And so the template doesn't ever change. And the books we show on the page also don't change. We're getting all of them. But what we could do now is a little check inside this render function to see if we have a value stored in a term property. If we do, then it means the users typed something into the search bar and they want to search for the books using this term value. So in that case, if we have a value for the term, we could return the same view, but we could change the books that we pass into it using some kind of different eloquent query. So that instead of fetching all the books, we only fetch the books where the search term is like the title. So let me make this if check, first of all, by typing if, and then inside parentheses, we're gonna say dollar sign this, and then grab the term property. Now, if this has a value, this is gonna to evaluate to true. If it doesn't have a value, it evaluates to false. So if it's false, then we skip this whole code block and we're just gonna return all of the books inside the view. If it's true though, then it means we need to return a view with a different set of books. What I'm gonna do then is just paste this return statement in and then I'm gonna walk through it. So we still return the same view and we still pass the books data into the view, but this time the query is a bit different because we only wanna pass books where the title contains the search term. So we use the book model and we use the where method on it to say fetch all the books where the title field is like the search term. And we surround the search term with percentage signs so the term can be anywhere inside the title. Otherwise, we'd be looking for exact matches. And then after this, we use the get method to fetch all those books that match. So now when a user types into the search bar, it updates the search property or the term property rather, which triggers the render function to rerun. And then we fetch only the books matching that search term. And then they get passed into the view, which is rendered, sent back to the browser. So we only see those matching books. So that's all the logic done. Now let's try it out. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try this out. I'm gonna type in something like ES and we can see pretty much in real time all the books that come back with ES inside it. We've got ES there, ES here, and ES right here. Let's delete that and try something different. We'll try OM, and we get this book, OM, this one, and where is it here? There and there. So this is all working, and it's all happening pretty live. 
So then, my friends, we have reached the end of the series, and hopefully now you've got a much better idea of what LiveWire is, how we can use it to make more dynamic and interactive Laravel websites. Now, there is still much more to LiveWire than I've covered in this course, so definitely check out the docs. And if you want me to make more LiveWire content in the future, just let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something along the way. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. That really helps out a lot, and I'm going to see you all in the very next series.